Coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Mahomes not wasting time. He'll throw. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes, or you can attack them, as he did there. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On play action, it's Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 33. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Mahomes going to throw. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. To throw on second and ten. Mahomes. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Mahomes to throw once more. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. On first down, Mahomes firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, and in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum, but you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. Here's Wilson to throw. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to probably get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They go play action now. Wilson eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Murray. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Screen play, McKinnon. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door to them, and that time worked well for a solid game.
Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. To throw again on second down, Mahomes, and his throw is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early, but they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now here's Mahomes. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 33. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And again, it's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And they'll work this down inside the 30. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 29, Mahomes, he finds McKinnon, complete. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of the times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the end line. So it'll come out to the 25. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down.
Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Now a dump off here complete, and they're able to get this one across the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first down, Murray, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing is Wilson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Gets around him, and they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Third and short, McKinnon. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. 
That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Wilson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Wilson. And that is incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here's Corliss Waitman now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A nice little juke. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. And now here comes Kansas City. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how do we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense. But don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. On oh, a jet sweep, here comes Tony. They find some open field here. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain there of 21 yards. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. Mahomes now on first down. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 31-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. 
Boy, the run on first down, a disaster as he's tackled well behind the line of scrimmage. These guys off the edge are already tough to contain when they're protecting a stationary target. Ask them to hold their blocks when a runner is struggling to find a lane, often an impossible task. Regardless of the outcome on the scoreboard, that will be one of this game's biggest stops. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes, throw left side, complete to Tony. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him 18 yards on that one. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm. And McKinnon is in for a Kansas City touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try and mount a comeback. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And Denver getting set to take the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. The throw over the middle, taken in. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Saubert. 
Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw again is Wilson. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Kerwin Sutton, 47 yards. And the Broncos are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. First down, Mahomes. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Then he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Let's get something up. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now it's Mahomes again. 
A dump down to McKinnon. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. On third down, Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On play action, it's Mahomes. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now here's Mahomes. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. That's taken on the 25. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. There's Wilson to throw. That goes out wide to Murray. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. 
but unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield, and he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Up the middle, Murray. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Another run for Murray on second down. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Casey's offense ready to take over. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. It'll go down as a gain of six. And yeah, that will bring up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second and 10, Mahomes. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Mahomes going to throw. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Nick Bonito. Coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. To try again after the sack. Mahomes finding Gray on the out route. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Mahomes finding Juju there for the Kansas City first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, 
they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Alex Singleton, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the 39, Mahomes going up top. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Mahomes. Open man. Completes it to Smith-Schuster. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Butker's kick here is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet, but that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They run from the shotgun with Murray. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Wilson. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Broncos send out their punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Here comes Tony on the return. 51 yards on the punt there. And out will come the offense as they take over. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. 
Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Second and 10 now, third quarter action in Denver. Now Mahomes. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Mahomes now to throw. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Oh, boy, he got a favorable spot there. The guys on the sidelines were raising their hands over their head and clasping their hands to signal safety. But the official marked it just outside the end zone at the one-yard line. On third down, Murray. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Last run got six, now second and four. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 
49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And able to work his way down to the 16. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Jarek McCannon with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Denver's offense ready to go again. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. This will be caught. Judy. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout. Now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. On first down, Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now Wilson. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. 
never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. The offense on third down, just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. They're up against a third and one situation. Wilson. And that will be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The fullback dive held up short, and the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Throwing now is Mahomes. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. On first and 10, it's Wilson. He's going to drop this one down for Murray. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Wilson, he'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Wilson. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
with the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Mahomes to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. He hit his first one. This from 44 yards out now. Butker's kick here is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball right after that. They didn't even get a first down. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And coming out now, the Broncos. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. His throw incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Got a man complete. It's Hamler. And he is going to have a Broncos first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Wilson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it's Wilson. 
That's complete to the tight end, Saubert. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. From the gun, it's Wilson. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 34-yard line. Broncos on the move here a bit. Nice plays in succession back-to-back. -back. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again is Wilson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Completes the pass to Judy on the crossing pattern. They get 17 down to the 17, and it's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing again here, Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. Throwing is Wilson. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Again, Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. This will be caught at about the five. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. 
Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.